so I am talking about one of my favorite subjects in the whole wide world, and that is skincare. And I have a lot of skincare in here, but I wanted to show you specifically what I feel like right now. I mean, we change a lot, right? We see things on YouTube, we listen to the experts, and we kind of change the way we feel about skincare. So we might change gears a little bit. But right now, I wanted to show you in 2020 what I am absolutely in love with, what is working so well for me, and the reason that I am loving it. I want you to keep in mind that I am not saying you need to go out and buy all of these by any means, because these are stuff that these are things that I already have. And the other thing is. Is, is that I don't use all of these all the time. I switch up my skincare routine, you know, nightly. So I might use one essence, I might use another serum, those kinds of things. I don't use all of these every single night, except for possibly the moisturizers and the cleansers. So those are the two products that I use every single night, but everything else I probably just kind of switch off each night, each morning type thing. So we're gonna get into my top picks for my skincare right now. And I think there's about 18 to 20 products. So I hope you enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up if you do. Here we go into my top skincare favorites. Okay, so gonna try to go in the order that we use them on our face. And I wanna start with what I take off my makeup with at night. Pixie Beauty sent me this. They sent me a bunch of their hydrating milky skin treats, their skincare line that's the hydrating one. And you can kind of see how it's separated down here. And then you just shake it up before you use it. I absolutely love, excuse the noise, that they have the pump dispenser that you can use on your rag or cotton pad, whatever you use. And then just go in with your face so you're not really digging product, product out or anything like that. But I really like the dispenser on it. I love the product inside of here. It melts away any sort of makeup I have on my eyes. I do use a lot of waterproof makeup. And so this one has been just really great for me. And, and I think I like it a little bit better than the cleansing balm that I've been using just because it's a little bit more liquid and I can kind of just, you know, close my eye and let it sit on there for a second before I start to try and remove it with any sort of, you know, rubbing or anything like that. So I really am enjoying that very much. And my regular face cleanser right now is the hydrating facial cleanser from CeraVe and this is not very expensive at all and it's a value size of it so it's the bigger one and I just have really been liking how this leaves my face feeling after I use it. It doesn't feel stripped, it doesn't feel super dry. You guys know I have super dry skin and right now I switched over to the 0.10 of tretinoin and I'm really having a hard time struggling with that um, but this is kind of helping along those moisture lines and it does a really good job of taking off anything you have left after you have already done your makeup removing the SPF all that the next thing that I will go in with is a toner or an essence and I have three to share with you the first one is from the ordinary and I love this stuff this is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution absolutely love it this is my third or fourth bottle of it I think that this is fantastic as far as being able to slough off your dead skin and show the pretty new skin underneath without it really being terribly harsh. I did just get another skincare company send me some and it was 10%. It was a little bit more along the lines of it stung just a little bit more, but um, this one is doing me really well right now when my skin is so sensitive as I'm you know, transitioning into a higher retinoid or higher retin retin a product and then this one right here is the niacinamide brightening toner from good molecules this is what i use every single morning and you guys i absolutely am in love with this stuff i know that i'm going to continue to repurchase it let me just read to you what it says on here it says formulated with niacinamide vitamin c arbutin and licorice root extract to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. So it really is really good. The licorice root and the vitamin C are your brightening properties and then niacinamide is what helps clean out our pores, make them look diminished because they are cleaned out. You know, pores that are congested, they can look really big because when they get congested, they have a tendency to spread like a kind of like a fat cell type thing. So you clean them out and they just look more refined and more beautiful and I am in love with this every single morning. I use it without fail. And then at night, I'm using the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. This is with Galactomyces. <laughs> yeah, Galactomyces contained, it says. Okay, this has a ton of 
benefits for your skin if you're a woman that's looking into anti-aging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read to you what this does right off of the website here. So it says, tighten sagging skin, soothing, smoothing, <laughs> not soothing, smoothing rough skin, boosting essence used on the first stage of skincare, creating bright and transparent skin, glowing skin by adding luster and shining light, shiny light, seven types of skin intensive care in one little bottle, including moisturizing, skin tone improvement, skin smooth, soothing, which it does, you guys, if you have very irritated skin, I can put this on, it doesn't sting, it's, there's nothing like that. Skin refinement, trouble alleviation, meaning if you have, again, irritated skin, it can soothe your skin, brightening and nutrition supply, and it says that it's very good for sensitive skin, and I can attest to that. Because as my skin, like I said, I'm switching over, so as my skin has become super sensitive, I when I use this, I don't feel any irritation whatsoever, and it does feel very soothing. So this is a really good essence, and it's not gonna break the bank. I learned about this off of Penny's channel from Penn Smith Skincare, and she was um, comparing it to the SK, SK2 from Sephora, that everybody is wild about. This has the same ingredients in it. So loving that stuff so very much. The next thing I love to do is have some serums. Obviously you want a vitamin C serum. I was very recently turned on to this one by the parent company of Hada Labo. And this is their vitamin C. Uh, you obviously can't read any of this. It's in Korean all over here or Japanese. I don't know which, but it is their vitamin C serum. And this is supposed to be a very stable form of vitamin C. Vitamin C, as you know, is really important for an antioxidant to fight off free radicals and all of those pollutants that get to our skin and help it to not age quicker. And I love to use this analogy when I talk about vitamin C is an as an antioxidant. If if you cut an apple and you leave it out for even an hour, you're going to see the apple turn brown. But if you were to coat that with a citrus or you know a lemon juice, something like that, and you coat that apple with it, you're gonna see that it doesn't turn brown nearly as quickly. So that's the same thing that it does for our skin. It protects it. It helps it from all of the air pollutants that are coming towards it. And it's a great brightener and plus vitamin C is a natural product. So we need that to use in conjunction with our Retin-A's or our vitamin A's. This one is from Hadalabo as well. I just tore off the packaging part of it. I got tired of dealing with it because it was like crimping up on it and everything. But this is their super hyaluronic acid. And this hyaluronic acid is so good because it to me is not like all the other ones on the market. Now, anytime you use hyaluronic acid, please keep in mind that your hyaluronic acid does need to draw off of moisture. So if you live in a dry climate, it's gonna draw it out of your skin, unfortunately. That's why you need to put it on damp skin or you need to spray your skin a little bit with some water before you use anything that has hyaluronic acid in it. But once you do that, your skin throughout the day can feel so good and so moist, especially if you're living in a drier climate. So for me, that one is really good. It's a little bit thicker than the other products, but that's okay. It's kind of going in order here. And then this is the Super Peptide Serum from Good Molecules. And I really do like this. It has di several different kinds of peptides in it. Um, but you know what, you guys, even though I'm using this one right now and I really do like it, I think I am partial to the buffet from The Ordinary because it does contain a lot of other ingredients besides just peptides. So I think that for anti-aging, The Ordinary one is gonna win out here. And I am noticing that it does deliver a lot of the same benefits, such as helping with the hydration, helping with the brightening, all those things. But I do like The Ordinary's a little bit better. So that one I wanted to tell you, but I didn't have an Ordinary bottle right here in front of me. So also got my reading glasses back on. This is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. This has the same kind of ingredient that we talked about in the secret key essence, the galactomyces. That is such a hard word for me. Okay, so it says that that fermentation or that particular part kind of yeast is so good for wrinkle care and to protect the skin and to help for firm the skin. It says that it supplies vitamins, minerals, and oxygen to the skin. All those things are such good things for us to have on our aging skin. And I do enjoy using this one. I will use this as a treatment. It isn't very um, thick, so I don't find that it gives me a lot of hydration. 
um, but I do use it kind of like a serum because it is quite thin. So that is one that I'll use before I go in with my regular eye cream. And I'll just share with you what my regular eye cream is right now. And that is the Suko Yakasuhara Urea Eye Cream. This is fantastic, you guys. If you have super dry skin on top of your lids or down below, my skin is so dry right now that this is so soothing and so healing and it just holds in moisture and locks in moisture like nothing else I have ever, ever found. And I am not exaggerating that. I've been using this product for such a long time that I think this is probably my sixth tube now and I always have one in backup, which is saying a lot because I don't ever buy anything in backup. So I absolutely love this. The urea part of it, I get this question a lot, so I say this and I know I sound redundant, you guys that have been here with me for a while, but the urea in this is not a byproduct of urine put into here. Urea is a byproduct of urine, but this is made in a lab specially for us to be able to use on our faces. So we're obviously not putting urine on our faces. While I'm here, I'm just gonna talk to you about the other two that I also get from um, Suko Yaka Suhara, and that is the Urea Moisture Lotion. You can see that that is very watery. It doesn't even look like it would be a moisturizer. But you guys, I'm here to tell you this is the very last thing that I put on in the morning before my sunscreen as my moisture. So once I do whatever else I'm going to do, if I'm going to use a serum or not, you know, cleanse, essence serum, whatever I'm going to do, this is my moisture. And what I do is I make sure my face is wet and I'll put on that super hyaluronic serum and then I'll lock in all that moisture with the urea lotion. And you guys, this is like, this is a one-two punch for my dry skin. It's fantastic. I think if you have oily skin that you might even like this in the winter time, but in the summertime you might not like that. So just keep that in mind. Urea is a super hydrating product. Also urea as being able to be an eye cream has a property in it that can actually exfoliate. And there aren't many products that we would trust to go up around this thin skin right around our eyes, right? To be able to exfoliate. We never put any like AHA, BHA acids way up there on our eyes, but you can with this and it's so nice, you guys. And it just keeps that skin just a little bit sloughed off so that the pretty new skin can come through because that's where the wrinkles and everything are is on those dead layers of skin. So definitely one that I recommend all around. This is the last one that I'm going to recommend to you from that same brand, Suko Yaka Suhara. This is the actual cream. After I'm done with everything, and I know I'm stepping out of order here, but I wanted to share with you all of this line. After you're done with all of whatever you're going to do at night, I don't wear this in the morning because it doesn't play well under makeup, but at night it holds in every single drop of everything that I've used on my face. So once I'm done with all of the essence serums and my Retin-A, everything like that, this goes on top of it. And wow, you guys, it just holds the moisture in. And in the morning, I can feel that my face still has so much moisture on it, even my under eyes. I'll go on top of the urea cream or the eye cream and I will put this on top of that even to hold more, more moisture in because that is my huge problem is that this area is looking so, so dried out. So love those. What would a skincare video be from me if I didn't include my X Lash Eyelash Growth Serum product? You guys, I have talked about this so many times on my channel and I will continue to talk about it. This is just a growth serum that you use with your skincare. I put it on before I start anything else. It's in a little, um, just a little brush tip there. And you just brush it right along the line of your eyelashes. And it gives all kinds of wonderful nutrients to your eyelashes and helps your eyelashes slow down their turnover cycle and their growth cycle be a lot more strengthened, uh, meaning the lashes are gonna be a lot more long. And you will grow lashes when you haven't grown lashes before. My lashes are thick and they're long and I never have to wear falsies. I know I get asked all the time about what, you know, what do I use for falsies? What, gl what glue do I like? I don't do any of those because I don't have to because my eyelashes are that good because of this serum. I have never in my life, if you went back into some of my other videos, older videos, you would see, well, I've been using this for almost two years now. So you would see two years ago that my eyelashes looked like garbage. And now they, they are my favorite thing right now on my face is my eyelashes because I actually have them for the first time in my life. So I will let make sure I list that product below. 
And very quickly, I want to tell you about another product that was sent to me from Number 7 Laboratories. This is their Firming Booster Serum Accelerator. This, when I looked it up, I couldn't believe how expensive it was. Um, it's an ounce of stuff. Do I feel like the firming part of it is doing anything yet? I'm not 100% sure, but I love this delivery system. It has those little steel roller balls right there, and then the serum comes out of the middle, and then you just put it on your skin. And you guys, I think what I like more than anything is that little steel roller ball part right there. When I use this along my gel line, along my eyebrows, my top lip, wherever my skin is sagging, you know those little crystals or those little fat bumps or whatever you can feel right underneath your skin. I can feel those kind of, you know, being massaged and moved around and maybe broken apart a little bit. So the serum in here is good. I think maybe I'm noticing some firming. I've been on it for about three weeks now and I do feel like maybe, maybe I am noticing some definite firming benefits from it, but I'm not sure if that's from the massage or the actual product in here. So I did want to mention it, but while I'm mentioning it, I want to bring up my two tools that would mimic what this is right here. So if it is just this little tool or the way that it, the serum is delivered, these two tools right here would do you either way. This is the germanium roller that rolls and has all these little bumps right here, these knobs right here that can massage your skin so well. And then of course a jade roller, which is so good for that too. And just, you know, massaging, moving the lymph around, bringing up the blood supply to the top of the skin, which helps, you know, accelerate collagen. It also helps with cellular turnover. So whether or not this this is a good serum. I will know more when I'm completely out of it, but I definitely wanted to tell you about it. I feel like it's doing its job, but I don't know if it's the actual serum or if it's the actual way that the serum is delivered. So I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that to you and I'll make sure that I link this below. This is fairly new on the, on the market and so far so good, you guys, I'm liking it. And by the way, no sponsorship here. They sent me a bunch of products to try. This is just the standout one. All right. Retin-A, 100%, you guys, this is the product that has just changed everything for me. Texture, um, wrinkles, firmness, everything. This is actually able to go through the dermis or the, the skin layers and penetrate on the cellular level and make your body make collagen. And our bodies decrease in collagen. Soon after we um, leave our 20s, we just start losing collagen. Then by the time you hit my age and above, the collagen is not being produced as fast, but this is our secret weapon to be able to produce collagen. Like I said, this is the 0.1% that I am using right now. And um, right there it says 0.1%. And I stepped through each percentage. So the 0 0.025 and then the 0.05%. And now I'm up to this one. And I did those other ones for like three, four years, you guys. So this is my fifth year on this. And I've finally stepped into this. And my skin is screaming at me right now. But I know that it's working. And I know that it's doing what it's supposed to because I'm getting all those side effects that you do get from it, even though I'm only using this twice a week. So I do have a Retin-A video that I did very recently and I will refer you back to that. But Retin-A is our anti-aging secret weapon that nobody can deny because of all the studies that have been put out by it. I have heard a lot of people say that they can't use it. That is completely okay. I'm just saying that the studies are behind this and for me it works wonders. In the morning our last step and another secret weapon that you should never skimp on. I don't care whether you are in your 20s watching my video on up through the not your 90s and watching my videos. Please use your skincare, your sunscreen as your last step in your skincare because this is going to help protect you against all of the sun's harmful damage. And it's been proven that the sun's UV rays, UVA, UVB rays can make us age more rapidly. That's what causes sunspots. It's what causes some wrinkles. It's what causes a lot of the things that we see as we age. So please make sure that this is your last line of defense. And I love this one from Skin Aqua. This is the UV Super Moisture Milk. Again, this is a Korean brand. This is SPF 50 plus plus 
plus plus something like that and i just think that this is such a fantastic product for me and my dry skin because it never dries me out now i do like a couple of other ones for my more oily skin gals and i'll make sure that i link those below for you they are really good but they do contain a little bit of alcohol in them but that's kind of good especially in the summer for an oily skin person because it's going to help keep all that oil at bay if you put something moisturizing on top of that again you're going to be getting a lot of breakthrough on your makeup and stuff but if you're a dry skin gal this stuff is so nice and i would really recommend it very last things i want to talk about are two oils that i have found that i'm in love with and the first one is um, the ordinary squalane oil and the second one is the rose hip seed oil these two oils are so good the rose hip seed oil contains all kinds of antioxidants and protection and moisture and all of that good stuff that helps with aging it just really is a good one to kind of mix in if you want to in the morning it really sinks into the skin well it doesn't leave you know an oily residue across your skin of course you're not going to want to use a whole dropper of it if you're using it in the morning but it is a really good oil for anti-aging and it just is one that is awesome as far as all the benefits that it has and then the squalane oil which i think is so good now the reason that i'm showing you for these from the ordinary is because they're so inexpensive and there are so many uh, different oils on the market right now that are so expensive and they don't have to be like this one from the ordinary is a hundred percent plant derived squalane oil which is so important and then the rose hip seed oil is cold pressed and hundred percent natural and organic so they try very hard to look at whatever oil you are looking at or needing and make sure that it's processed in the proper way because if you use um, heat to press out a rosehip seed oil you're going to lose the efficacy of it it's just not going to be effective at all and it's going to break it down very quickly and the squalane oil because it's plant derived you know that it's really good for you if you're vegan of course all of the products from the ordinary are vegan and cruelty free but the this one that is the squalane oil i will use this at night to go right underneath my eyes i'll use it sometimes to go into my moisturizer and it just just sinks into the skin so well squalane oil is used so much in so many different products that cosmetic products and it's just been proven that it just is one that really can support our skin's moisture and it's just an all-around beautiful oil to use for anybody so that is all of my skincare that I'm in love with right now these are ones that I use on a regular basis so I want to say thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today I hope this was a little bit of a distraction I know that everything's going that's going on we are all really stressed out just take a few minutes and take a little breather and remember that we're going to get through all of this you guys we are strong we are fierce women and we love life and there's nothing that can take that away from us so while you're cooped up please know that my thoughts are with you and I'm hoping that everybody is doing well and staying healthy Please take care of yourselves. I love you very, very much. And I'll catch you guys all in my very next video. Bye, guys.